Let's place a spotlight in the scene. First we'll go to the visualization tool set and then click on the light tool. And up in the toolbar we'll select the spotlight mode. Then we will click once in the scene to place a spotlight and once again where we want the spotlight to hit. Now let's switch to a side view, in this case the right view, so we can see where the light is located. And in the object info palette we will change the height of the light and the height of the light's target. So first we'll alter the Z height of the light fixture and then the look to height, which is the target height. Now let's look at a rendered 3D perspective view to see how this spotlight works. In the object info palette we'll go to the distance falloff setting to alter it and there is a difference as you can see between the smooth and the realistic falloff settings. The realistic falloff setting has the light brighter where it's close to the light fixture and not as bright where it hits the target, whereas the smooth fall off setting, the light intensity falls off linearly as it moves away from the light fixture. So the target area is actually a bit brighter than, than with realistic. So for this, for our purpose, we'll just leave it at smooth. And then we'll alter the spread and the beam settings to see the impact that altering these will have on the scene. Note that you can also change the settings simply by entering data in the spread and in the beam data boxes. But it's really just easier to grab the handles in the diagram and move them inwards and outwards to get the distribution that we prefer. Now we'll adjust the pan and the tilt settings by moving their sliders. The pan setting operates horizontally and the tilt setting operates vertically and we can also adjust these settings by putting in degrees in each of the data boxes.